Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing the photography tag today, which I haven't actually done yet, and I'm pretty sure it's been going around for a while, but I recently got tagged by Alexandra Starr. Uh, I thought I would finally do the photography tag because it's kind of like a summary, I guess, of everything that I've done photography related. So uh, for anyone that hasn't really gone through a lot of my videos before, it might be kind of an easy video to watch um, but yeah so first question was how did you get into photography I got into photography when I was probably about 15 years old and I really really enjoyed art when I was in school but I was never really great at painting at sculpting at anything artistic related I mean I was I was okay at it but I wasn't you know magnificent or anything um, so yeah the first time I got into photography was when I was looking on DeviantArt and I don't even know how I stumbled across the stuff on DeviantArt across the photography there but I was just so amazed at what people my own age were doing and like the way they were able to tell stories with photography and really be so creative with their shots and especially because a lot of the people doing it were so young and it really inspired me to to do it myself and I just kind of went from there to be honest and even earlier than that I went overseas with my family and traveling around really inspired me to kind of get out the camera and take some shots but funnily enough I moved into fashion because eventually I realized how creative you can be with fashion photography and that just really appealed to me and the next question is what was your first camera my first camera was the Canon 400D and yeah it was a great little camera um, a lot of people ask me why I chose Canon over Nikon and um, all the other brands out there and honestly, I don't have a really interesting answer to give you. Just a couple of my favourite photographers at the time were using Canon. And I knew that they'd started off with the uh, lower models. So like the 350D and at the time the 400D was just coming out. So I got the 400D and that was, that was really how I made my decision. And I also liked the interface of it and how, um, how you basically used it. Uh, so yeah, I, that's why I went with Canon and the 400D. The next question is, who are your photography heroes and inspirations? I have a lot. Um, it's very hard to name them all, but I think my original influences were definitely through DeviantArt and they were Lara Jade, which she's a big fashion photographer, at the, especially at the moment. Um, so definitely check out her work because it is absolutely gorgeous and she's always inspired me uh, with my own work. And I actually don't quite know how to pronounce the other girl's name who is so inspiring to me and I've known about her work for like, you know, 10 years or so and I don't know how to pronounce her name. It is a Chinese name and I've put it in the description below if any of you would like to check out her work. She was known as Emotion on DeviantArt and her artwork is just incredible she's an amazing fashion photographer so very inspiring um, Max Doyle who has done a lot of work for Vogue Australia I really like his work it's just it's a very distinct style and yeah just I really like the colors and toning that he uses in his work too uh, next question is what does photography mean to you um, a lot of things I think but I think mainly I just like to create so it's just my outlet it's my outlet for creating things and when I feel creative I know I can always channel it through my photography and it's just nice to have that outlet because a lot of people feel like they don't yeah just having that time to really channel any creativity any ideas that you might have um, yeah through your work I think that's a great thing and that's what photography is always kind of meant to me and then the next question is, how do you overcome photographer's block? This is something I've struggled with for a very long time because it is very easy to have photographer's block and to have your creativity just kind of disappear for a while and then you really struggle. You really struggle to come up with new ideas for your photos and you kind of get a bit jaded. And honestly, I find the best thing for me with overcoming photographer's block is to travel and that's just a personal thing I think whenever I go to a new place whenever I get to shoot somewhere new in a different location that's really inspiring for me because I get very um, tired of 
going around to the same locations in the area that I'm in and photographing in the same spots and it's just not there's nothing new I find a lot of the time and it's nice to be able to go somewhere different and to do that and I find that's a really good way for me to kind of overcome that um, other ways that I, I sort of overcome photographer's block is kind of by looking through magazines and sometimes looking at other photographers work can be kind of a bit of motivation for you to get off your butt and do some you know different things and come up with some new ideas and get some inspiration that way uh, next question is tips for newbie photographers so uh, there's probably a lot I could probably give but I think the main one is be kind and be nice to people um, be friendly and that will get you a long way I think because if you've got a really big ego and you're really not a very nice person when it comes to working and when it comes to just being a human in general um, that never seems to sit very well with a lot of people so I think if you're nice to everyone you're kind you can be assertive um, and especially when it comes to your work and everything but just be friendly it's always nice to meet new friendly people and people are going to want to shoot with you if, if they know that you're friendly and you're a nice person. So yeah, that's my main tip I think. If you had to shoot just one genre, what would that be? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious what my genre would be. I would definitely choose fashion photography. However, if I had a second option, it would be travel photography. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty close one there because travel photography I've always loved. Um, I've never really done a lot of it, uh, but it's definitely something that's interesting to me and I like to do a little bit of it when I'm not doing fashion photography, but I think fashion for me is just that creative outlet and you can really create things with fashion photographs. Um, but landscape and travel photography is definitely inspiring to me in, in different ways, so at the moment it's fashion. <laughs> Any photography pet hates? Um, yeah, there's probably a few. One of my pet hates would have to be over-retouching. And that's mainly to do with skin retouching. I think just some people can take it way too far. And I, it's easy to do. Like, I've done it before a lot. And then looked back later after retouching and gone, okay, the skin looks way too perfect. Like, beyond... The point of looking natural and um, I think sometimes that can be just like a bit annoying to see just like oh god why do you have to push it so far but yeah it's probably a pet hate of mine um, also just seeing a lot of photos with girls with hair like just totally in their face and it's like that whole hipster movement I don't know I kind of get a bit tired of seeing those photos because they are everywhere and that's probably my two main pet hates at the moment but yeah, there's probably a lot more that I can't think of right now. And last question is, any photography faux pas? And I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, not that I can think of. Um, this probably isn't really related, and I think I've told this story before, but the only thing that's kind of related to this question is my first photo shoot that I ever had was on a mountain in the rain, and well, the first photo shoot I ever did with a professional model, and yeah there were leeches a lot of them and I didn't realize and I got the model to sit on this log and yeah they pretty much attacked her and I felt terrible afterwards and it was very intimidating for me being a first photo shoot that for that to happen but um yeah I guess that kind of like that was the worst that probably could have happened on a shoot I mean the model didn't get angry at me or anything which was nice but yeah that was definitely an embarrassing time for me not really faux pas but you know anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like me to do more videos like this one please let me know because I can do them <laughs> um, but yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time bye